Well, I think there was – I know the possession you're talking about because Ben was no factor offensively, and he got his first real basket off of broken floor – I mean, a broken play. So, yeah, that was a big offensive rebound by Kev. Uh, you know, that's what we did tonight. You know, it, that game went just as I'm sure that all you predicted. It, you know, not the most artistic. Both teams are good defensively, and it just became – came down to, you know, making some plays at key moments, and that was one of the key plays we made. We, I thought the biggest basket of the game was Jeff's jump hook, though, uh, uh, when I think they cut it to three, and, and he catches the ball and, and is able to play – score over really good defense that Jordan was playing. So there, was, there were several plays like that, that that allowed us to keep our distance. Uh, uh, we made it hard on our, ourselves by not converting at the free throw line and doing things like that, but, but uh, it was just a, a tough game and great road win. Coach, uh, Ben was out for the last – nine minutes of this first half because of that second foul, yet you get to the locker room with a four-point lead. How were you able to, to keep them at arm's length, I guess, while he was on the bench that, that, that well, long of a stretch? I was going to play him, but, but uh, I said, you, you want to play him? And I think KT said, well, let's just kind of wait a second and see how the game goes. And, you know, we get up 27-21, even though that's not a comfortable league. But, but uh, you know, we kind of got a little distance, and so it gets under four. Then I said, let's go ahead and rest him and or, or not play him, not rest him. But, and uh, – but we just had some guys make some plays, and you know Perry made a huge play on the on the when he when he caught it and drove it and got the goaltending, but, but it went in, and and then that that last play of the first half that we score with one second left, you know, those are plays that 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 end up being the difference in you know winning and not winning. Coach, what kind of impact did Travis have on this game with what he did against Magruder? Well, I thought Trav played unbelievable. One of his better games he's played for us. Uh, you know, he, uh, Rodney gets two points in the first half, and that was off a broken floor transition play, a dunk that Travis didn't have anything to do with. Other than that, Travis did a great job keeping him out of the lane and, and still getting to him at the three-point shot. And he was exhausted the second half, and he asked to come out, and I said no. And, and uh, uh, he scored – he shot a three on him right after that. But, but uh, I thought that Trav was terrific. And, of course, he hadn't shot it well the last couple of weeks, and for him to hit those two threes starting out gave him a lot of confidence in the week that you've never really looked at K-State like a bitter rival like you did at Mizzou. Do you feel differently after tonight? No, no, I don't, I don't feel any differently than I do every time coming over here. Uh, uh, but when, when, I mean, they're, they're a big time rival, but when you have Mizzou, you know, all your pin up hate can go in one direction, uh, 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 basically. Uh, uh, so, so this was a more of a respectful rivalry and I still feel that way. I think it's Two teams, classy, playing hard, and there's no talking. There were just kids out there competing, and so I'm leaving out of here knowing who our biggest rival is, but it's not a hated thing. Talk about your defense on Magruder, and uh, <laughs> how did it go tonight? Uh, starting out, uh, I, I, the first half, I think I did real well, uh, making him uh, uncomfortable and uh, not letting him get easy looks at the rim, and uh, I think the first half he ended up with with maybe two, and then the second half, my teammates, they just t they, they just told me they was gonna continue to help me, uh, let me get through down screens, and uh, I just continued just doing whatever the team needed me to do on the defensive end because we knew that he was gonna be the guy that uh, that, that they were going to on the offense. For either one of you, do you feel extra pressure about winning here because of the success KU's had here, or is it just a conference game, just a in-state game? Okay. <clears throat> Um, you know, it's not really too much pressure. It's just another conference game. Uh, if anything, we look forward to this game because it's a, a lot of fun. It's a hostile environment, and um, it's one of the best crowds that we're going to get besides our home crowd. And so, uh, you know, we, we definitely look forward to this this game every year. And, um, you know, it's just a fun game, And but there's, there's definitely no pressure coming in here. Yeah, uh, Gibson is, he, he's really strong. He's a physical guy. And, um, you know, it was tough whenever he was guarding me, you know, I was, you know, getting pushed around every now and then. And, um, you know, Jordan's a great player. He's a great shot blocker. He uh, showed it today. And, um, you know, it, it was definitely a physical game. You know, that's how the Big 12 is. It's every, everywhere you go, it, it, you know, you're getting elbows in the back. And, you know, it, it's, it's like that. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm used to it. And Kevin's used to it. And, you know, it, it just it's part of the game. Travis, can you talk about Perry's first half? He really seemed to give you some quality minutes. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's what we look forward into, uh, to Perry because uh, guys like Jeff and Kev need uh, th those breathers to, uh, to get their breath. So when Perry come in and uh, help out on the offense, 
that's what that's what coach won out of him. So it, it helps our team. Mm-hmm. Uh, those shots were huge. You talking about from Ben, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, those were huge. And I told him that uh, once he got in after foul trouble, I just told him to keep his head and uh, keep shooting. And uh, the second half, when it got late, we was trying to play through Jeff and uh, Ben because uh, they take a lot of pressure off the team. And he stepped up and made those shots, and it, it helped us out a lot.